Hi everyone, my name is Hussain and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my work, I am creating some cloud design patterns videos with a primary focus on Azure. However, these concepts could work well with AWS or GCP or any other cloud provider you could think of. If you are interested to learn more about this topic, go ahead and check other videos in my channel. Also, make sure to click on the subscribe button to get notified about the upcoming videos. And for the like button, it's totally up to you. Today, we are going to talk about the gateway routing pattern. Gateway routing pattern comes under design and implementation and operational excellence categories of cloud design patterns. And the whole idea of this pattern is to use a single endpoint to route requests to multiple services. And we are going to see this in more details in the examples. It's good to know what are the related patterns to the gateway routing. First of them, backends for frontends, gateway aggregation, and gateway offloading. I'm going to put links for these patterns if you are interested to learn more about them. Now, let's go to the examples to help us understand the gateway routing pattern better. Now, let's assume that we have an e-commerce application that consists of multiple services, like search service, order service, review service, and cart service. All of these services could be implemented using Azure App Service or Functions App. Then we have the client or the consumer application that wants to interact with these different services. And as you might expect, each of these services will have different endpoint that the client has to use in order to communicate with different services. And this is the first challenge we have in here. As the number of services are not going to be only four or five, but in some situations it could reach to hundred or thousand services. And in this case, the client will have to implement all the communications with all of these services, which is going to be a huge amount of effort on the client side. And the second challenge we have in here, if we decided to change our service architecture and split review service into two or three services. In this case, the review service endpoint will not be valid anymore for the client to consume as we are splitting the review service into two different services, internal review service and third party review service. And in this case, the client has to change their code to allow them to communicate with these two services separately. So these are the different challenges that might suggest you to use gateway routing pattern to improve your situation. Now, after we have addressed the problems, now let's see how we can use the gateway routing pattern to improve the situation. The gateway routing pattern suggests to have a gateway to receive all requests from the client. And then the gateway is going to route these requests to different services based on routing rules. The gateway could be something like application gateway or Azure front door, which we are going to see in a little bit more details in a minute. And then the client can use different URLs to access different services in our system. Now let's have a look at some examples of the application gateway and Azure front door to help us understand how the routing rules work. So this is Azure front door. As you might see, it has a front end that direct traffic to back end pools based on routing rules we have configured. And I've covered Azure front doors in more details in the deployment stamp video. If you are interested to learn more about it, I'm going to put a link for the deployment stamp video so you can review it. Same idea for the application gateway, which is going to route traffic to backend pools based on path-based rules. And I've covered application gateway in more details in the API management course. So I'm going to put a link to the application gateway video if you are interested to review it. Now let's get back to our example. Now let's focus on search service. And let's assume that we have implemented a new version of search service and we called it search service two. I know you already know that there is a versioning mechanism in Azure app service and functions app. Let's leave that aside for now to help me getting my point across. Let's assume that these two services has been implemented using different technologies. Like the old one has been implemented using Azure app service and the new one has been implemented using Azure Functions app. 
and we want our client to consume search service too. So all we need to do is to change the routing rules in the gateway. Instead of sending traffic to the search service, we are going to send the traffic to search service too instead. And the endpoint that the client consumes is going to be the same at all times. Also, the client doesn't need to change anything on their side to allow them to communicate to search service too since all of the changes has been already done in the routing rules in our gateway. This is one of the powerful features about the gateway routing pattern. Now let's talk about the review in the point. If you remember, we have split our review service into two separate services, internal review service and third party review service. And the question here is, can we configure the routing rules in the application gateway to send the traffic to both services at the same time? The answer is yes, however, you should never do that because the routing rules in the application gateway can be configured to send 50% of the traffic to one service and other 50% of the traffic to another service. However, this should be only implemented for load balancing situation. When you have multiple instances of the same service and you wanna distribute the traffic across them, not to have a totally different services and send 50% of the traffic to one of them and the other 50% of the traffic to the other service. Routing rules in the application gateway cannot send traffic to both services at the same time. What we can do instead is to introduce gateway aggregator and then we are going to change the routing rules to send the traffic to the gateway aggregator which is going to be responsible for communicating with both services at the same time. And then it's going to combine the response back and send it back to the client, all of that using a single endpoint for reviews. We have talked about gateway aggregator in a previous video, so I'm going to put a link for the gateway aggregator pattern if you are interested to review it in more details. Also, I want you to notice that you can combine as many cloud patterns as you like, as long as they are going to help you to solve your problem. In this case, we have used the gateway routing pattern as well as gateway aggregator pattern, and you can use as many design patterns as you like. Hopefully by now, the gateway routing pattern is much easier for you. Now let's talk about some considerations you need to keep in mind when you use this pattern. First of all is a single point of failure. Whether you are using application gateway or Azure front door, you are introducing a single point of failure for your system since this is the only place that gets all requests to your services. Also, you need to be aware of the performance bottlenecks since all requests are gonna be coming to a single place. Whether application gateway or Azure front door, you need to consider the performance implications of that. That's why it's very important to consider doing a load testing on the application gateway or Azure front door or the gateway routing layer in general, in addition to the load testing that you may have done for each service separately. Finally, gateway routing operates at layer seven. Now let's talk about when you should use this pattern. When you have multiple services that can be accessed behind the gateway, also, when you want your clients to access your system using a single endpoint. Also, when you want to route external requests to internal virtual endpoints, like exposing ports on VM cluster. Now we are coming to the end of this video. I hope now it's clear for you what the gateway routing pattern is about, what problems it tries to solve, how you can use it, when you should use it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to put it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.